good day everyone in this video we're going to learn how to download and set up link 2013 on the iPad to be able to use link 2013 on the iPad the first step is to install link 2013 on the iPad and to do that we need to find that particular app in the App Store so we need to find the icon or the App Store application and click on it to open up the App Store. From here we can click on the search area and type in Link 2013 and when we do that we see that Link 2013 is available for download. You may see a slightly different icon because I've already downloaded Link 2013 previously. You may see an icon here that says that the application is available for free. Either way, you click in this area and Link 2013 will start to download on your iPad. With Link 2013 successfully downloaded, we now have the ability to click to open Link 2013. going to select the option to open the application. When we do so, Link is looking for our sign-in address, our password, and there has to be some advanced options set here as well. So we're going to start by the sign-in address. The sign-in address is your district email address. So I'm just going to type that in here now. and I'm going to type in my password and under advanced options I'm going to retype my district email address or my username and when I do so and sign in I will be successfully connected to Link. So let's wait a moment for it to connect. And once we get to this step, we can choose uh, to help Link in terms of a custom experience program. We can select Done. And now you can see that we're connected. And if we go to our test group, we can see that we have the ability to call people within our test group and we have the options of instant messaging to this user to do an audio call to this user to do a video call as well you've now seen how to set up link 2013 for use on the iPad 